that was we finished doing the border molding and trimming the border molding uh, for the posterior sections on both sides. Obviously, when you take the impression, you're going to take the impression on both sides at the same time. I mean, I guess you could do one side at a time, but it'd be a little hard. You want to make sure that this will seat onto the cast and that the rest seats are fully adapted onto the teeth, that it's fully seated. And it should come on and off uh, fairly easily. Uh, we kept it away from both the tray and the border molding. We kept away from the eye bar, we call that an eye bar. If they're far enough away from there that it can still flex. And so we'll take the uh, thing out of the cast. So normally this would be the patient's mouth that we're doing the border molding. So now it's time for the impression. So because we're in the lab, we can just use this brush. If you were um, working in a patient's mouth, you don't want to use this brush for adhesive. You want to use a separate brush for each patient and pour it out of the bottle for each patient. But in the lab, it's fine to just use this uh, adhesive material. Make sure that the adhesive is one that goes with the brand of the impression material that you're using so you'll get the best adhesion. It's really best to let this sit about you know five or ten minutes, let it fully dry before using the adhesive. So you're gonna get your best adhesion that way. So I'm gonna be using a a light body um, impression material. This happens to be Examix, and then um, I'm gonna be placing it on the cast. When you place the material into the impression, you don't want to just fill the impression tray like that, like maybe you normally would. But instead, you want to actually move the impression material onto the borders, move it out of the middle, onto the borders, so you have the same amount of material on the border as on the inside. So we're going to take some of the excess out of here. You want to have the same amount of material on the border as on the inside of the ridge. Because you're taking an impression of soft tissue. And it's going to always be a little drippy with this light body material. And then we're going to place that in a patient's mouth. And when we place it in a patient, we want to press just in the front, and we're going to hold all of the rest seats in position and allow the back area to just kind of float where you would like it to, to be, wherever it ends up, and then have the patient do all of their border movements. So pucker, grin, pucker, grin, move your uh, tongue side to side, out, um, all the movements of the tongue and the cheeks, the same border movements as you always do. And you're holding this the whole entire time it's being set up. You're holding it right here on these teeth, right on the rest seats. Now here in the lab, obviously, you don't have to hold it the whole time it sets up because your patient's not moving. But that is what you're typically going to do in the mouth, hold it until it fully sets up. So you can see when we used to use the, the rubber base material, the frustrating part about that is you'd have to hold it for 10 minutes um, in position. You know, the nice thing about it is you would never get this mess because the material had a really nice viscosity. So it just it depends on what you're used to and what you like. Once this is set up all the way, we can take it out of the mouth. Um, in the clinic, you're going to have a faculty verify. You can go back in the mouth and that the stops are all seated in the teeth correctly uh, before they send it um, off to the lab. And the lab is going to cut the back portion of your definitive cast off and re-pour that area. That way the cast is being corrected and you can kind of see that here where they're going to be cutting the posterior portion away 
And then once they cut that away, they're going to be placing this imp impression on there and they're going to be turning it over and boxing it and pouring these new posterior areas. When you get it back, the metal framework is going to be clean and all of this posterior area will be off and um, you'll have a new impression in the back. Now here in our lab, we have a great cast, so we're not going to make altered casts. So by next week, have this framework all cleaned up and ready for next week's project. Now, the, even take the triad off. Be very careful when you do that, not to warp your um, framework. But in all of this process, yeah, you want to be very careful and gentle with your framework so that it doesn't get distorted in, in the process that we're doing here in the lab. Okay, thank you very much.